Hello, good morning. Hello, hello, everyone. Can you hear me? Good morning. Good morning. You, hello, how are you? Good morning, teacher. Good morning. Welcome to the class. How are you today? I'm fine, teacher. And you? I'm great. Thanks for asking. Let's see who else is there. How about you, Dora, Alicia? How are you? I'm fine, teacher. Thank you. Very good. Very good. And you, Carolina, how are you today? I'm fine, teacher. Very good. Thank Very you. Good. Welcome, welcome, everybody. Welcome to the class. How are you today? How do you feel? Uh huh. Good morning. How are you? I'm happy to see you here. How about you? How do you feel? I'm just fine. <laughs> nice. What's your morning? I'm sorry. How was your morning? Uh, a little busy. I had some classes before this one, so they they had a speaking evaluation, so they were a little nervous, but. Uh, don't worry, guys. During the speaking evaluation, don't feel nervous. Remember that it's just a speaking. It's just a conversation, okay? You will see it. Soon it will be your turn, okay? But nothing to be afraid of. So did you take a shower already, everybody? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Some of you are like, oops. <laughs> Did you have breakfast already? Yes, teacher. Yes, yes. 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 We have. yes. Okay. Did you drink coffee? No, teacher. Yes. 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 Extra points if you like coffee, okay? If you don't like coffee, coffee. no points. I love coffee. <laughs> You love coffee? Great. Excellent. Okay, welcome everybody. Welcome to the class. I'm really happy to see you here. Today is Thursday, almost Friday. All right. So do you remember the topic that we practiced yesterday? Uh -huh. Adjective comparative. About preference? Oh, yeah. Comparative adjectives. Very good. Yes, we were talking about the comparative adjectives. Excellent. And what is the vocabulary that we are practicing? Uh huh. We are talking about movies. Movies. Excellent. Did you watch a movie yesterday? Anyone? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, Wendy and Walter, what was the movie that you watch? In my yeah. case, Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Okay, which which one? Which one? Uh -huh. uh, seven, part one. Ah, okay, sounds good. Yeah, Day is part parent. two. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so we have some Harry Potter fans here. Nice. How about you, Walter? Which one did you watch? Uh, I watched the Percy Jackson and the Olympian. Ah, that's a good yeah. one. Okay. Did you watch it, guys, in English or in Spanish? In Spanish. Okay. Wendy? Yeah. In English. But that's good. Uh, with subtitles. Okay. Try. Okay, guys, I recommend you to start watching movies in English, right? With the subtitles. You can uh, set the subtitles in English. So that is going to help you. Uh, my recommendation is watch a movie that you already seen. So you will understand what they are talking about. Or you can watch animated movies in English. Remember that the animated movies, uh, well, they are for kids. So they use a very simple language. So those movies are pretty easy to understand. Okay, so that's your new homework. Watch movies, watch series, but in English. Okay, do it. That is going to help you a lot. Now, let's start. I'm going to share with you the presentation. Let's see. Okay. Can you see the presentation? 
everybody? Yes. 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 Excellent. Yes. Okay. So today is August 31st. Guys, August is over. Okay. And tomorrow we start a new month. It's September. What do we celebrate in September? Independence Day. Independence Day. Yes. So, well, but now that it's August, let's continue with the topic. As your classmate said, yesterday we were using the comparative adjectives. So, what is the characteristics? Mm, imagine that I have the adjective, um, let's see, um, sweet. Sweet is a short adjective or a long adjective? Short adjective. Ah, very good. How many syllables do we have in sweet? One. One. One syllable. one syllable. Only one syllable. So um, if I want to compare, can I say uh, orange juice is more sweet than coffee? Can I say that? No. 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 So what is the correct no. one? Orange juice. A-E-D. Sweeter. E-R. Uh -huh. E-R. Correct, we are going to say sweeter mm -hmm. than coffee. Nice. Okay, Um. now I want to talk about the weather. <laughs> what is the weather like today in your cities? Hot. 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 Sunny and hot. Okay, hot. so let's use the adjective hot. Again, hot is short or long adjective. Sure. 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 Okay. Is short adjective only one syllable? So, sure. mm, can I say El Salvador is hotter than Canada? Can I say this? Mm, no. The writer is wrong. With Why? double T. That's double the one. T. Excellent. If you uh, see, Yes, we need to add ER. But what happens with hot? We need to double the last consonant. But why we didn't do that with sweet? What is the difference? Mm -hmm. Because sweet ending in vowel. And then... Follow the rule. Ah, okay. Yes, what is... I think that uh -huh. it uh, doesn't have a consonant, vowel consonant. That is That's the one. Cool. Exactly. Very good, guys. I can see that you remember the rules. Remember, hot, it's a short adjective. And remember, it's ending <laughs> in consonant, vowel, Consonant. Um, consonant, right? But sweet in this case is not ending like that. Sweet has vowel, vowel, consonant. Mm, that's why mm -mm, it doesn't apply. Okay? Pretty good. Now we have another example. Imagine that um, the weather is sunny. If I have sunny, what do you think? Can I say sunnier or more sunny? What do you think? Sunnier. 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 Very good. That's the one. All right. Now, what happens if I have a long adjective? For example, expensive. What is the comparative form? More expensive. expensive. More expensive. More expensive. Can I say something like um, iPhone is more expensive and then says, mm, I don't know, uh, Android maybe? Is that sentence correct? No. Why oh. not? Smart 
is missing something. What is missing? Then. The word then. Pretty good. So that is the correct structure when we are using comparative adjectives. Now let's have a quick practice. Do you remember these guys? Yes. 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 Are you yeah. Team Superman or Team Batman? Team Batman. <laughs> Batman. Okay. So right now, guys, I'm going to share with you some pictures and you just have to compare them. Uh, let's start with our superheroes. Can you compare Batman and Superman, please? Batman is more intelligent than Superman. Very good. Listen. More intelligent. Nice. What else? Superman is stronger than Batman. Stronger. Very good. What else? Batman is more elegant than Superman. <laughs> Definitely. Very good. More elegant. What else? Superman is faster than Batman. Faster, excellent. What else? Batman. Batman is more uh, serious than Superman. More serious, very good. What else? Batman is older than Superman. I don't know, but <laughs> could be yes. According to the movies, he is older. Talking about money. Batman is richer than Superman. Very good. And for girls, talking about handsome, what do you think? It's like whiter. Is what? I'm sorry? Whiter. White. His skin, whiter. Mm, I don't get like it. White. Like, ah, like the white. skin color. Uh huh. Is like whiter or? Mm, well, actually, that sounds kind of weird. Let me check if you can say it because remember that white is not precisely um, considered yes. like an adjective in some cases, yes, right? But mm, yeah, I think that you can say whiter. Let me see. Mm -hmm. Mm -mm. Yeah, actually, you can say it. Yes, you can say wider. I've never heard that before. So thanks. That's good. So yeah, <laughs> Superman is wider than Batman. Could be. What else? Handsome, in your opinion? Which one? Superman, Superman is more handsome. handsome. <laughs> you see? Okay, nice. All right. Now, I need it. Guys, we are going to confer some others. But we are going to do it girls versus boys. Let's see which one says more sentences. Give me a number, please. Which pictures do you want to compare? Anyone? Give me a one. number. Number one, YouTube and Netflix. Compare them, please. Let's see which one says more sentences. It's girls or boys. Netflix is more interesting than YouTube. Okay, so girls, you had a point. What else? YouTube is older than Netflix. Okay, very good. Boys, tell me comparative sentences. YouTube is cheaper than Netflix. Mm, okay, boys, you got a point. YouTube, YouTube is more accessible than Netflix. Mm, okay. YouTube is more entertainment than Netflix. Mm, okay. YouTube is more popular than Netflix. Okay. Girls, you have a lot of sentences. Nice. Netflix is more expensive than YouTube. Pretty good. Look at this. Okay, YouTube girls. YouTube is um, easier to use than Netflix. Mm, okay. It is easier to use. One Netflix more sentence? is easier than YouTube. 
Hmm, okay, but that is similar to the one that the voice says. Okay, but let's stop there. Very good. A lot of sentences. I liked it. Okay, let's compare something else. Give me another number, please. Number three. Number three. Okay, we have a pie and we have a cake. Okay, let's compare them, guys. Cake, cake is, more is more delicious, delicious than, than pie. <laughs> Okay, that was like a tie. I think both of you said the sentence at the same time. Okay, I'm going to give you a point each one. What else? Pie is more healthy than cake. Mm, that's interesting. Can I say more healthy? Yeah, uh, I, how can I say más saludable? I'm ah. no, uh, uh, yeah. Okay, it's okay. Healthy. What do you think, guys? How many syllables do we have in healthy? Healthier. Oh dear. So the one, correct two. one is healthier. Very good. Very good. No. What else? Oops. Well, in that case, I'm not going to give you the point because it was not correct, but it's a good one. Remember, guys, more healthy or healthier? Here. Healthier. Healthier. What else? Good. Next sentence. Cake, cake is bigger than pie. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cake is sweeter than pie. Okay. Cake has, has more ingredients than pie. Yeah. Okay. Oh, no. Oh. What else? Yeah. Talking about money, which one costs more? The cake is more expensive. Cake. Than pie. All right. So look at this one. We have a tie. But in your own opinion, guys, which one do you prefer? Do you prefer the pie or do you prefer cake? Cake. 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 Okay. Pretty yeah, cake. good. Excellent. Nice. Okay. Let's continue. Um, give me another number, please. Bye. Number five. Okay, let's compare coffee and tea. What can you tell me about it? Coffee is more delicious than tea. Okay. Uh -huh. Tea okay. is hotter than coffee. Mm, okay. Tea is more healthier than coffee. Mm, more healthy. Tea is healthier. Love healthier coffee. remember guys healthier, healthier. Yeah. that's the one what else tea coffee is, is more sweeter. expensive than tea. than tea okay hold on repeat the sentence a uh, girl coffee is more expensive than tea okay i was listening to a boy too can you repeat your sentence uh tea is sweeter than coffee mm, okay pretty good in breakfast, the coffee is more common than tea. Okay, more common, more popular. Oh, sorry, that was a point for boys. Sorry. <laughs> uh huh. What else? Tea is cheaper than coffee. Ah, very good. <laughs> what else? Coffee oh. is bigger, bigger than tea. Okay. Coffee oh, no. is a uh, blacker. More than tea. Okay. Coffee is better than tea. <laughs> okay. In your own opinion, guys, which one do you prefer? Coffee or tea? Coffee. 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 <laughs> coffee. Okay. Well, how often, how often do coffee. you drink do you drink coffee? Every day. Every day. Every day. Every, day. every, day. every morning. So. In the morning, the afternoon, at night. Oh my, oh my goodness, that's nice. In the morning, in the afternoon, at night, every moment is a good idea for a coffee. And how often do you drink tea? Uh -huh. Three times a week. Iced tea, maybe. Iced tea, okay. Yeah, iced tea is much better than hot tea. Pretty good. Okay, one more comparison. Give me the last number, please. Six. Which one? Six. Six. Okay. 
Oh, look at this one. We have a big city and a small town. Let's compare them. The city is bigger than, than the town. Okay. The small town is cheaper than big city. It's cheaper, yes. The small town is quiet than big city. Um, quiet. Can you repeat, please? Small town is quiet than big city. All right. Just be careful with the pronunciation. We have to say quieter. Quieter. Okay. Pretty good. What else? It's big small city. Town. Okay, Wilbur and then Miss. Go ahead. Big city is crowded than a small town. All right. So we have crowded. Can we say crowder or more crowded? What do you think? Crowder. Mm, in this case, guys, crowded, we are going to say more okay more crowded okay a, i was listening to a girl go ahead okay a small town is more beautiful than big city okay sounds good what else in the small town the people is more friendly than the big city okay friendly what do you think guys friendly more friendly or friendlier <laughs> More friendly. More friendly. Friendly. Actually, is friendlier. Okay, friendlier. We cannot say more friendly. Friendlier. Okay. What else? Town is more calm than city. Is more. Calm. Hot. Calm. Oh, calm. calm. Like choir, that's what you mean? Okay. But can I say more calm or calmer? What do you think? More calm calmer. is in a section. Mm, actually, if you are talking about this adjective like calm, so we have to say calmer. Okay, this means like um, relaxed quiet okay so we have to say calmer if so, i want to use the adjective relax in relaxer ah what do you think about relax everyone relaxer or more relaxed remember that in this case guys we have to think about this relax is the verb which one is the adjective if I'm talking about the town or the city, it's an object, we have to say relaxing. How many syllables do we have there? Three. Three. So I'm going to say? More. Yes. More. Yes. Look, I know that there are some adjectives that might be some a little bit confusing, especially the ones that has two syllables. Because when we have verbs with two syllables, we can be a little bit confusing if they are going to use more or if we are going to use the ER. That is a clear example of the ones that are ending in the letter Y. For example, healthy. You look healthy and you can think, I healthy is a long adjective, but not really. Two syllables, healthier, okay? It's the same here. Friendly. What is the comparative of friendly? Friendlier. 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 Happy? Happier. 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 Um, angry? Angrier. Angrier. Okay. They have two syllables. Noisy. Ah, noisy? Noisier. Noisier. Yeah. So, Especially if you see, guys, most of the time when we have seal a adjective with two syllables, especially if they are ending in the letter Y, you have to consider that we are going to add the ER. Now, your classmate mentioned this adjective, crowded. Have you ever heard that adjective before? 
Yeah. Yes. Yes. What is the meaning of crowded? I mean, a lot of people. Or... A lot of people. So you can think, teacher, okay, but I have crowded two syllables. But do we have two syllables there? Remember that syllables means the vowel sounds. In this case, I have cra u dead. So the W is doesn't sound like a consonant. It sounds like a vowel. So that's why we don't say crowded there. Imagine if I add ER, mm, it doesn't look good. It will be difficult to pronounce it, crowded there. So no, in this case, we say more crowded. Got it? Yes? yes? Any questions so far, everybody, about the comparative adjectives? All right. Now, which one do you prefer? If you have to live somewhere, do you prefer to live in the big city or do you prefer to live in a small town? What do you think? Small, small town. Small town. In small the small town. big city. In the big city? All right. Depends. Depends on what? If you uh, go to work or something like that, uh -huh. the big city is the best option. If you're That's relaxing true. or take a vacation, it's, more, it's better than it's more city. That's true. That's true. I think that each place has its own advantages and disadvantages, right? But I, in my opinion, I think that small towns are pretty good but it's more difficult in some aspects, right? Pretty good. Okay, that was about the comparative adjectives. Now let's start talking about something different. Can you see the presentation again? Yes. 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 Excellent. Okay, I have some questions. Always talking about movies, let me ask you. I have here different superheroes. Which of these superheroes is the best one? What do you think? Iron Man is the best. Iron Man. Iron Man is the best. Why? Yeah. Why do you think that Iron Man is the best one? He's more intelligent okay. than the other superhero, yeah. Mm, okay, so, so you think that from this group, Iron Man is like the most intelligent? Okay, and you guys? Which of these superheroes is the best one? Uh huh. Anyone? Spider Man. Okay, but Spider Man is not here in the picture. Yeah, but it's the Marvel. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so why? Why do you think that Spider Man is the best one? Because it's a superhero, but also is a normal human. Mm, that's good. Yes, that's a good reason. Which of these superheroes, guys, is like the, the strongest? What do you think? Uh -huh. Hulk. Hulk. Do you think that Hulk is the strongest? Yeah, could be, right? Very good. Now, look at this one. Do you remember these movies? Have you ever seen them all? Mm, yeah. Yes? Yeah. <laughs> so we have four, uh, four movies from Toy Story. Which of this one is the best, in your opinion? The first one? The first one. Why? Why do you think that that's the best one? Mm -hmm. Any idea, guys? Which one do you prefer? Do you prefer Toy Story 1, Toy Story 2, 3, or 4? 1. Why? Because for me, the one is funnier than the other. Ah, okay. Pretty good. And you guys? Oh, you haven't seen them? 
All right, how about these ones? Have you ever seen these ones? If you see yeah. all of yeah. all of these movies, yeah. these are like sagas, right? So we have Harry Potter saga, the Lord of the Rings saga, and Twilight saga. In your opinion, which one is the best? Lord of Rings. Lord of the Rings. Okay, I, I listened to some of you say Lord of the Rings. Some said that it's Harry Potter. What else? Uh huh. I prefer Harry Potter, but Lord of the Rings is better than Harry Potter. Ah, okay. Sounds yeah. good. Anyone else? Which one is the best? I prefer the Lord of the Rings. Okay, sounds good. Which um, movie Twilight are... is the best? Oh, Twilight. Do you like Twilight? Okay. Yes, I watched them, all of them. <laughs> sounds good. Excellent. Which of these movies do you think, guys, that are like the most interesting? The Lord, Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings. Or Harry, Harry Potter. Potter. Okay. I think that we have a debate between Lord of the Rings and Harry Potter. Actually, I think that both of those movies are like a masterpiece. Both of them are good. But which movies are the longest? Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings. Yeah. 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 Lord of the Rings are Longer. very long movies. But talking about the saga, which of this one is the longest saga that means which has more movies harry, harry, potter. Potter. harry potter harry potter right is the longest saga <laughs> very but good but if you consider the the hobbit saga is ah they are combined it's connected with lord of the ring that's true that's a good point which of this saga has um the best actors Lord of the Rings. Yeah. Lord of the Rings? Yeah. Yeah, so Lord of the Rings. Actually, well, they have very good actors, right? Sounds good. Now, if you see, guys, in this case, we were comparing, but two objects, or we were comparing in a group. What do you think? Uh -huh. In a group, we were comparing a group. Exactly. So that is the topic that we are going to study today. If you remember, when we use comparative adjective, the characteristic is that we just compare two things. Now we are going to see another topic that is the superlative adjectives. The difference is when we use superlative adjectives, we are not comparing two things. We are comparing a group of things. For example, let's go back to the first picture. I have a group of superheroes and I'm just picking one and I'm telling that this is the top, okay? I'm telling that that is the top in the group. That is the characteristic of the superlative, right? So what is the structure of the superlative adjectives? We have some rules of the spellings that is similar to the comparative adjectives. First of all, again, we need to identify if we have short or long adjectives. So basically, guys, the rules are the same. If you have one syllable, is short adjective. The only difference is that right now, we are not going to add ER. We are going to use, look, EST, okay? And we are going to say longest. When we are using superlative, also we are going to add the article the, the longest, okay? Um, the tallest, 
the biggest, um, the hottest, okay? That is the superlative adjectives. For example, let's use the adjective hot. What do you think, guys? Which city in El Salvador is the hottest? What do you think? San Miguel. San Miguel? San Miguel is the hottest. Okay, so we can say San Miguel is the, city. the hottest the city, city in, in El Salvador. Pay attention to this sentence. Am I comparing two objects? No. Mm. Not really, right? I'm taking a group. What is the group? The city in El Salvador. And I'm just taking one. In this case, is San Miguel. San Miguel is the top, okay? Now, do you think, guys, that I need the word then, yes or no? Do I need the word then if I'm using superlatives? No. 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 In this case, when we use superlatives, we don't need the word then, because again, we are not comparing two things, okay? Remember, what I need is the article the. Understood? Yes? Yeah. Now, yes. if you see, guys, the rules is the same. Is If the adjective is short and if it is ending in consonant, vowel, consonant, again, we need to double the last consonant. Okay? Then, if we have two syllables, the same rule. Now, you have to be careful here because we have some exceptions. For example, happy, what is a superlative? Happy, yes. happy, 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 yes. happy, happy, yes. happy, 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 Now, look at this one. We have honest. honest. How many syllables do we have in honest? Two. Two syllables. Two. Two. But can I say honestest? No. 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 So we are going to say the most honest. Honest. Famous. Can I say famousest? No. 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 We are going to say the most famous. famous. So that's why, guys, always when you have adjectives with two syllables, we have to be careful with it. Okay? Because there are some exceptions. If you are not pretty sure about one of the adjectives, I always recommend you to use the dictionary. Okay? Did you copy the rules, everyone? Yeah. Okay. Can I move to the next slide? If you want to copy, do it. That is going to help you later. Okay, can I move? Yes? No? Yes. Yes? Okay. Yes. Now, what happens if I have long adjectives? The same rule. Now, the only difference is that here we are not going to use more. We are going to use? Must. Must. Okay? And don't forget the article the. The most expensive. The most dangerous the most popular for example um which movie is the most popular do you think that is harry potter the lord of the rings or twilight harry potter harry potter, harry potter. Harry potter. Harry potter. Awesome. you can say harry potter is the most popular yeah. movie now, talking about superheroes, which superhero is um, the strongest? What do you think? 
Uh -huh. Talk, maybe. Thor? Could be. So we can say Thor is the strongest hero. How about uh, actress? Which actress is the most beautiful, in your opinion? Megan Fox. Okay, so you can say, ah, uh -huh, Megan Fox is really the thorough. most beautiful actress. Okay? Don't forget, we need the word most, but also we need the article, the. Got it? <laughs> And as always, we have some irregular adjectives. If I have the adjective good, do you remember, guys, what was the comparative for good? Better. Better. Best. Better. Yeah. Now, the superlative is? Best. 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 Which one is the best soccer team in Europe? Actually, the Manchester City is the best soccer team. Okay, pretty good. And you guys, in your opinion, which one is the best team in Europe? The best soccer team? Real Madrid is the best <laughs> soccer team. Extra points for you. Very good. <laughs> Are you team Barcelona, guys, or team Real Madrid? Yeah, team Barcelona. Ooh. Barcelona. Yes. <laughs> if you're Barcelona, point less. <laughs> I'm kidding. All right. Now, tell me, guys. Um, bad. What is the superlative for bad? Worst. Worst. In your opinion, in general, what is the worst movie that you have ever seen? The Dragon Ball Live Action. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that was a pretty bad. I agree. What else? Another one? What is the worst movie that you saw? High School Musical. Really? <laughs> All of them or one in a specific? Uh, I see. I watched only one. Okay, so one was enough. <laughs> and you guys? What was the worst movie that you have ever seen? How do you say El Hoyo? It's the a... Hole. The Hole. The oh. Hole. Uh -huh. The That's one that one. is on Netflix, right? Yeah. Okay. Good. Oh. So look at this one, guys. If you see, we are not comparing two things. No, we are talking about a group. In this case, we are talking about a group of movies and you are telling only one, and that one is the top. Is it clear, everybody? Yeah. Yes? Yes. Yeah. Any questions so far about the superlatives? No? no? Okay, let's do a practice. I'm going to share with you guys some pictures, and you have to tell me the superlative sentences you can use short or long adjectives. For example, I have a group of beverage. Can you tell me superlative sentences, please? Mm -hmm. So which one do you prefer? I have Coke, beers, milk, and oranges. Which one do you prefer? Coca-Cola. Why? Because it's the best in the world. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> she's using the adjective the best. So Coca-Cola is the best drink in the world. Okay, how about you guys? The Coca-Cola is the most popular in the world. Very good, the most popular. Nice job. What else? Uh, the orange juice is... Um, most uh, the most healthy ah all right again we have the adjective healthy can i yeah. say the most healthy healthiest ah. healthiest. Healthiest. healthiest in this case we ah. are going to say the healthiest yes mm -hmm. that's good that's good what else 
talking about expensive money, what do you think? The beer is most, is, is most expensive. The drink or the other. Yeah. Or the, the In that case, you can say mm. the beer is the most expensive, right? Or the beer is the most expensive beverage or drinks. Okay? Mm, yeah, drinks. What else? And unfortunately, uh, I use All right, I listen, Victor and Abigail. So, Victor first and then Abigail. Go ahead. Okay, hey, unfortunately, uh, Coca Cola is the most delicious drink. Of <laughs> the most delicious. That's a good one. Uh huh. Abigail, how about you? The orange juice is the cheapest. The cheapest. Very good. How about milk? Nobody said anything about milk. Uh huh. Tell me something about milk. Do you like milk or not? Uh, yes, yeah, Santa. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So yes, with coffee. No sentences about milk. <laughs> the Coca Cola. The beer is the worst. <laughs> the beer is the worst drink. Yeah, yeah. Ah, okay. I hope so. Do you drink beers, everyone? No, I never drink beer. Never, that's good. No, How about yeah. milk? Do you drink milk? milk. Yes, sometimes. Yes. yes. Pretty good. Now, yeah. if you pay attention, good sentences. You are not comparing. We are just saying which one is the top. Now, look at the next picture. What do we have here? I have the mountains, I have beach, city, and forest. 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 Imagine that you have to go on vacations. Where do you want to go? Mountains. 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 Yes. Forest. Mountains. Forest. Okay, some of you say mountains. Why? Tell me superlative yes. sentences. The mountain is the best. Okay, the mountain is the best place for vacations. What else? How about you guys? The mountain is most beautiful. Ah, the mountain is the most beautiful. And in summer, the beach is the best place for relaxing. Ah, very good. Sounds good. Uh -huh. What else? The forest is the most dangerous place. With uh, uh, for a people, so you know the the the, the place, so you know the, the country. Also. It is very good. The most dangerous place. Good sentence. What else? City is the most expensive for very vacation. Yes, very good sentence. The most expensive. The How about city, the weather? Uh -huh. Tell me. Uh, the city is most amazing place to visit. Very good. The most amazing. That's good. Don't forget the article the, everyone. Okay, remember, we need to say the. What else? The beach is the hottest. The hottest. The hottest. Definitely. What else? The city is the noisiest place. Very good. The noisiest. Excellent. Very good sentences. Now, talking about sports, what can you tell me about this? Soccer is the most popular sport. Sounds good. Soccer is the most popular. Mm -hmm. what soccer, else? soccer is the easier to play. Is the easiest. Okay, sounds good. Soccer is the most interesting. Interesting, very good. Now, the opposite, talking about boring. What do you think? 
American football, I think. Baseball. American Baseball. Football. Baseball. Baseball is the most boring. Baseball is the most boring. Boring sport. Okay. Which one is, let's yeah, see, talking about dangerous. What can you tell me about it? American, American football. American soccer. American it's the most football. aggressive football. football. American football. The most dangerous. So we can say that American football is like the most dangerous, dangerous. Yes. Right? aggressive. That's true. Very good. And American, in your, uh huh. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. American go ahead. football is the most, um, I, I don't know, expensive the other sports. Very good. That's a good one. And in your opinion, guys, which of these sports would you like to practice? Soccer. 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 Okay, yeah. pretty good. Now, talking about transportation, what can you tell me about it? Train is the fastest. Ah, very good. The train is the fastest. Yes. The bus is in... the, bus the bike is, is the, the most cheapest. popular. Cheapest. Ah. <laughs> Okay. Bicycle is the most ecology transport. Yes, definitely. Talking about safe, what can we say that? Safe. Car. Car is the most the car. safe. Safest. Not really. Okay, look at this the one. Car... Look at this. The adjective is safe. Can I say the most or the safest? Safe. 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 Safest. 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 Uh-huh. Which one is the safest? Bicycle. Bicycle? Bicycle, yeah. Really? Yeah, but because... Oh, in the car. Car. You are, you no, are the car is the most dangerous transport. Uh, yeah. It's more dangerous. What happened? No, but in a... Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Dangerous. But imagine that you have an accident. I mean, if, if if you crash, I think that the bicycle is dangerous in that aspect, just in case that you crash or something like that. But okay. How about the economy? If you're going to use one of this one, what do you think? Cheap or expensive? The bus, the bus. The bus is cheapest. Yeah. Ah, okay, the bus is the cheapest. The most expensive, it's the train. Ah, yeah. okay, could be. And which of this one do you prefer? Uh -huh. The car. The car. The car. Uh, car. The most comfortable. Very good, the most comfortable. Very good. Because if you are in the train or in the bus you can lose your things for other people <laughs> yeah that's true that's true but right now el salvador is different guys we already changed do you think that el salvador is um still dangerous or is safer what do you think than before uh-huh is safer or not it's the same what do you think Yes, it's safer than oh. Okay. The it's the same. Well, all right. Now, if you see very <laughs> good sentences, very good sentences with the superlative adjectives. Now, we already practiced some structure, but we are going to have an activity. This one is going to be individual. Okay. I want to everybody practice the spelling. So I'm going to send the link similar to what we did yesterday. Okay, this is the exercise. I have here the sentence and I have here the adjective. And you just have to write the correct superlative form. For example, do you know this building? The Birth Khalifa? Yes. Yes? So, what will be the complete sentence? I want to use the adjective high. What will be the sentence? The highest. The highest. The highest. Can I highest. say the most 
Hi. No. Oh. No. 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 We are going to say the highest. The highest. Okay. So don't forget the article that and be careful with the spelling. You just have to complete the sentences. Okay. And when you finished, we are going to click in finished and then take a screenshot, send it on WhatsApp's group. Got it? Yes? I got it. Excellent. Got it. Uh, give me a second. Let me send it. I'm sending the link here in the chat, everybody. And also, I'm sending it on WhatsApp's group. So open up the link. Please complete the exercise, take screenshot and send it on WhatsApp group. Don't forget everybody to add your full name so I can see the people who did the activity and the ones who didn't, okay? Please go ahead. If you have a question, just let me know. Be careful with the spelling. Remember that one letter is wrong, the answer will be wrong. Okay, so be careful with it.
If you have a question, just let me know, please. Again, be careful with the spelling, everyone. I can see some of you already finished and I can see very good scores. I like that, very good. Don't forget to take the screenshot and send it, everyone. Remember that this is just a practice. So if you had a mistake, I mean, don't feel bad about it, okay? The idea is to learn. Very good. I can see five people already finished. Very good job. If you have questions, please just let me know. Um, a reminder, guys, don't forget to write your full names in your profiles here on Zoom. Okay, I see some people with only one le name and one last name, so please don't forget to change it. Okay, very good job, very good job. So if you made a mistake, the idea guys is to learn from it. So if you had an incorrect adjective, you can write it down in your notebooks and memorize the correct form in order that you don't forget it, okay? Please. If you had a mistake with the spelling too, right? Write the correct form in your notebooks so you don't forget it. Very good. Excellent, very good job, very good job. Continue please, continue doing the exercise. Very good, very good. Now, if you see guys, that link 
um, I send you the link from that website. And that is a very nice website if you want to practice a grammar, for example. Um, if you scroll up at the top, there is a search bar and you just have to write the type of uh, the title of the topic that you want to practice. For example, that imagine that you want to practice movies because that's the topic that we have been practicing. Go to the search bar and you just have to write movies. Okay, then search. And if you see, if you scroll down, you will see a lot of exercises related to movies, okay? Some of the exercises are with writing exercises, with vocabulary, and even you can find it is some listening practice there, okay? So all the topics that you would like to practice, you just need to write it here. In the bar in the search bar and you will find a lot of exercises you just have to click in one of these ones and complete the exercises for example let me click here you will see the exercise look here we got some vocabulary and you just have to match for example the first one if you consider that is action you go there Okay, the Joker, if you think, ah, this is animation, okay, go there. And at the end, the pretty nice thing about this website is that you can check your answers and verify if the answers are correct or not, okay? So that is a pretty nice website that you can use in order to practice, okay? Any Thank questions? You. You're very welcome. Any questions so far about the exercise, everybody? Was it easy or difficult? What do you think? Uh, teacher, what? Uh -huh. Go ahead. Mm. How, uh, mm, how is the correct, the fast and bad? Ah, okay. If it you are, <laughs> it's okay. If you are talking about fast, everybody, what is the superlative form of Fast. Fastest. Fastest. The fastest. fastest. But if you are using bad, yeah. can I say the baddest? No. Because no. I'm irregular. Exactly. Bad is irregular. Uh, so you have to say the worst. Okay? Remember the rules, everybody. We have some regulars, but also some irregular adjectives. Got it? Yes? yes? Got it. Pretty good. I can see, guys, some of you got some mistakes, but it's okay. We are learning, all right? So if there is an adjective that you got a mistake, you can see the answers that your classmates sent, the ones that has the correct answer, and you can verify it. Again, write it down in your notebook so you can memorize the correct form. Any questions so far, everybody, about the exercise? Questions? No questions? Are you sure? All right. Well, we already practiced grammar. We already practiced writing. You already wrote some of the sentences. Now, as always, it's time to practice speaking, okay? And in this activity, guys, this is what we are going to do. We are going to talk to our classmates and you have to express your opinion about the following aspect. For example, you have to tell your classmate, in your opinion, which one is the best movie. Uh -huh, guys, in your opinion, what is the best movie in the world? Uh -huh. Any idea? The best movie in the world? Tell me, tell me one movie. Oppenheimer is the best movie. 
All right. A so history, can... history movie. Pretty good. So you can say, well, guys, in my opinion, Oppenheimer is the best historical movie. And look at this one. Don't forget to explain why. So why do you think that Oppenheimer is the best movie? Because in the movie explains the history about the atom, atom gun, the mm -hmm. atomic guns or bombs. Bomb? Atomic bombs. Mm -hmm. yes. yes. So you can explain. Ah, they explain a very important event. Ah, the movie has the best actor, right? The movie is very interesting. I don't know. You can explain details why you think that movie is the best. Okay. Then you can talk about the most popular actor. Ah, in my opinion, the most popular actor is da 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 da. And then tell me why. Ah, because this and this and this. Is it clear what we are going to do right now? Yes, everybody? Any questions about the activity? Okay, what are we going to do right now? Can you explain me the activity? What is about the best movie or the most popular actor mm -hmm. or the most beautiful, handsome, but yeah. Don't forget. don't forget to explain why. Very good. Can we speak in Spanish? No. Never. Yeah. Not even no. a single word. And important, everybody, um, if your classmate has a mistake, for example, imagine that your classmate said, um, ah, the most, I don't know, the most angry mm, no that is not the correct one so in a very friendly way you can correct them hey you know what angry is a short adjective so you cannot say the most you have to say the angriest okay so we can help each other remember we are a team so we need to practice and help each other in order that everybody learn okay let's go to the breakup rooms everybody remember I will be listening. I will be there. I will be uh, checking the people who enter to the breakup rooms and the ones who don't. Enter to the breakup rooms count as a participation in the class. All right. So please, everybody, enter. If you are in a group, because today I have some listeners, if you are in a group where nobody is participating because they are listeners, Tell me and I will switch you to another team, okay? Let's go to practice, everybody, and do your best. Okay, uh, let's get started. Uh, so, um, Abigail, tell us in European Hi. what is uh, the worst movie that you the ever worst saw? Movie. Yes. That is me. Or perhaps a series or a TV show, I don't know. It's the worst and the best. Two of both. Um, yeah. No, I, I, well, <laughs> whatever <laughs> that you want, but the worst, like, or, or tell us. Uh, uh, what do you think about the about Barbie? I didn't see Barbie yet. Okay, in Oppenheimer or yeah, it's Oppenheimer. It's Oppenheimer. Okay, uh, what do you think about the movie? It's interesting, it's real. For you, why is the 
that's right. Sorry, repeat me again. For you, what is the best movie? Ah, the best, the best movie I think that. Mm, Yes, perhaps of Oppenheimer. Mm -hmm. Because <laughs> I went with my sister and actually uh, we we watched the the movie in, in English with subtitles. So it, it was a good experience for me. And all in, in general the the context of the movie, uh, the actors, and uh, the stage, uh, all is uh, very good for the, this movie. So I think so is the best. And you, where were you, Alejandra? I don't know. I have a many movies, <laughs> but I like. Um... Harry Potter. <laughs> uh, all of them. Is the the Avenger? Avenger. The Avenger. Yeah. Why? Because it's interesting. Elizabeth? Yes. In my opinion, my favorite movie is Me Before You because it is about a romantic story and I read uh, two books about this history. Oh, it's the same, the book of, uh, about the, the movie. It's the same, or change something. Can you repeat the question, please? The book is different yeah. of the movie, or it's the same? It's no, exactly it's, the same. It's the same. It's the same. Oh, okay. Uh, can you repeat the movie, please? It's me before you. Oh, okay. Case the best body is in my case it's Tom Holland. Uh, it's, okay. it's okay. Yeah, he's actor to me. Yeah, mm. I think uh, Henry Cavill so. has the most perfect body in in, in the Hollywood. <laughs> I think. You know something? It's my opinion. Okay. It's like the personality. I think that that is something important. I mean, if you if you are handsome, but also you have a, a talented. Yeah, I mean, in in a good personality like him. Mm -hmm. so, okay. And. And what about what it is the what about I, I don't know is is listener? Uh no what 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 do you think ah the most time maker movie? Oh which Party one party maker? Mm, I think that is one me. Uh, okay. Yeah, it's a sad romance because she died at the end of the movie. So it's, it's so sad. Yeah. 
dormir. Ok, ajá. Yeah, I really like the movie because it uh, shows Ok. that love could be sad sometimes. It's not just happy and love, you know? I mean, could be, be, okay. could be sad. Okay. And for you, what is the most time uh, maker movie? Fire maker. Uh, in my case, I have two, Titanic and, and I don't know how you say eh, in English, but El Niño con Pijama de Rayas. Yeah. Ah, yes. Eso iba I don't a decir. know how you say it. Yes, this is the yes. saddest. It's the most, yes. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's. Yes. It's a tire maker Pajamas? Yeah. Oh, the boy with the strip pijama. Strip of pajamas. Pajamas. The boy. Pajamas. Uh, that's so sad. I remember when I was a kid, I watched this movie mm -hmm. and I cried a lot. Yes. Yeah. yeah, I I I was feeling the movie. I mean in my mind, in my mind, I I thought a lot of things because you know that that is a that is a horrible topic, the Nazis and the and that war. So when I when I knew that about the wars and why they did that, I think a lot of things about the topic and I and I felt sad because we are humans or everybody I mean you know with different yeah, yes, with yes. Different... yeah because uh, we didn't have idea about <laughs> about their fathers or something like that and and yes <laughs> it's Is it really so sad but That's it's a good it's the best movie friends yeah what else? What? What else? I can. Okay, the most. Sorry, my, my, I have issues with the internet. Girl. Me too. I have issues with my internet. Yes. Mm -hmm. My camera is off because the internet and so. Okay. Se traba. I don't know how. How do you say se traba? <laughs> The frozen <laughs> is frozen or gets frozen. Gets frozen. frozen. Yes. Okay. And Melmi, uh, what do you think? What is the most boring movie? Mm, I think is. I don't remember. Uh, I don't remember his name. Uh, I think <laughs> I don't know. Movies boring. Uh, Avatar, for example. Avatar yeah. is the most boring movie <laughs> uh, because uh, I don't understand. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand that movie. <laughs> that movie. <laughs> what about you, Carolina? In your case, uh, what do you think? Who is the most beautiful uh, actress? Sorry. <laughs> uh, maybe for me is uh, Sandra Bullock. I like uh -huh. you. Well, maybe I'm not sure, but I think um Jennifer. I uh, mean, I can't remember. I don't remember the name. No, Anissa? Jennifer Lawrence. Jennifer Lawrence is uh is ah. 
it's more beautiful than and ah, than Sandra Bullock. Uh -huh. Not the most, <laughs> but <laughs> more, more beautiful. Uh -huh. It's more beautiful than Sandra Bullock. <laughs> Yeah, okay. It's your opinion. Yes, okay. Let me know. Okay. And the, the most boring movie for you, Catherine? Avatar. Avatar? No. Yeah. Avatar is yeah. the most boring movie because I don't understand anything <laughs> nothing <laughs> nothing <laughs> nothing i don't understand nothing about the movie <laughs> mm. um, do you know what is the meaning of tide maker tide maker yeah tree maker is when i movie is I watch many uh, for this kind of movie, but the name I I don't remember. Mm -hmm. uh, the same and you. Which is the most clear maker movie for you? Uh, can you repeat the what's the meaning? Tear maker. I don't remember. Maybe it's suspense movie. I don't remember. Fancy. Okay, Tear Maker is a movie that makes you cry. Oh. Oh, thank oh, you, teacher. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> In my case, uh, never. <laughs> Yeah. In my case, uh, because I'm, I I never has been a theater maker movie. Mm. Mm, I don't know, but could be um a sensitive movie. I don't know. Maybe it could could be Titanic. The people say that Titanic is a sensitive movie. Okay, and you, you say? Okay, and in this case, uh, I think the miracle <laughs> as well, because the ending is very, it's very happy, and it's something you don't expect. It's very um, intense. What is your favorite saga? What is your favorite movie saga, Odilia? It's um, twi Twilight. Twilight. It's, uh, it's, uh, How many movies have? Four. 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 Okay. Oh, no, it is true. Five. Eclipse. Uh, I don't know. Eclipse. Uh, how it's... many? I think have two parts, or or I'm wrong. I don't know. Eclipse. Eclipse is the third one. Ah. Right. Has no, two parts. The first is Twilight. Eclipse yes. is the second one. I think. All oh, right, right. You're right. And the third one. It's like. All right, time's up. Let's return. Time's up, time's up. All right, all right. Let's go back to the main room, everybody. Time's up, time's up. Okay, how was the practice? Easy or difficult? That's easy. Easy, That's nice. nice, very good.
So let's wait for the rest of your classmates. Some of them are still in the breakup rooms. They don't want to stop talking. <laughs> Very good. Could you answer all of the aspects? Could you talk about all of the aspects? Yes. yes. Good. Yes. Did your classmate explain the reason why? Yes, a lot of reasons. Yes. Good. Did you listen to any word in Spanish? No. Okay. No. Full English. Okay. Did your classmate use the correct superlative or comparative adjectives? Yes, teacher. Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Mm. Okay. Yes. So imagine, guys, that that speaking practice um, was your speaking evaluation. What is your score? What do you think? What would have been your score? 10? Yes? 9? Maybe 8. Maybe 8, yes. 8, but why? Hmm. And you girls, the rest of you guys, imagine that that speaking evaluation had been your speaking um, exam. So the speaking practice was your exam. What would have been your score? It's just an imagination, okay? Uh -huh. Maybe 10. 10, that's the attitude. Uh -huh. And the rest of you? Ah, oh, come on. I need you guys to yes, feel I, confidence. I, I... I think that 10, but there are many words that when I want to say, uh, and and I don't know, uh, some some words or some ideas, I think that I, I want to to get more vocabulary. That's you know? a good point. So, yes, for, for say uh, a lot of things that I want to <laughs> say and, and explain. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and that happens. Yes, yeah, that happens, and that is one of the main purpose in this level, everyone. Every new word that you uh, find out, write it down in your notebooks. Um, if you are like, for example, I listen to some groups uh, to say uh, "pijama de rayas." How can I say that? Right. So write it in your notebooks. And then dictionary. And that's a new vocabulary that you have to memorize. Okay? So that's the way that we are going to learn new words. Nice. But let me tell you that you are doing a great job. Congratulations because you are speaking a lot. I love it. Unfortunately, we don't have more time. So everybody, we are going to stop right here. Tomorrow, we are going to continue practicing. Do you have any questions before leaving everyone? No. No questions? Okay, pretty good. If you have questions, remember, you can do it on WhatsApp's group, and I will be paying attention there. Have a wonderful afternoon, everybody, and see you tomorrow. Thank, Thank you, tomorrow, teacher. teacher. Thank, Thank you. Bye. Tomorrow, teacher. Have a nice day. Bye. Thanks, you too. Have a nice day. Thanks, you too.